Pride is all about the promotion of self-affirmation, dignity, equality, and increased visibility of LGBTQIA people. Now, LGBTQI people have existed long before the official movements began in the summer of 69. And who was at the forefront of this movement? Transgender and gender non-conforming people of color as they fought back against police raids and arrests at the Stonewall Inn in New York City. The following year, the first Gay Liberation March was held right back in New York City, which is now known as the First Pride. Now, over the years, there have been many strides. There's still a lot of work that needs to be done. The biggest thing that cisgender people get wrong um, about the LGBTQ community is thinking that conversion therapy is effective. The thing that pisses me off the most about the ordinary folks, that, yeah, that's you, ordinary. Not all of us men want to sleep with all of y'all. People assuming um, sexuality based off of someone's appearance, um, for example, like a lot of straight people that I know, a lot of people assume that all lesbians look like me. Um, think about if you were being told to change your sexuality as a heterosexual person and what that might feel like and how crazy it sounds. But people of the LGBTQIA community cannot be parents. Um, this is something that I find extremely infuriating because I have always dreamed of becoming a parent and having my own children. And there is a great number of people who would think otherwise who think that it is wrong and disgusting for a person like me to want to have children. Honestly, I think it has to do with thinking that um, trans people have made a choice. Um, the biggest thing that I come across all the time is like um, cisgender straight men um, who are like, oh, you know, I'm straight. Uh, we could be friends. I don't have problems with gay people. Just don't brush up on me. Like, bitch. No one wants your bum ass anyway. Um, I decided to be part of the LGBTQIA community because, well, the story I always like to tell is that because I sneezed when I was four years old and nobody said bless you, and therefore the devil crept up inside of me and I became a homosexual. Not a choice. Never was, never will be. Why would you choose a harder life for yourself? Why would you choose a life where you are discriminated against you're, you know, murdered, you're harassed, you're sexually violated, um, you are lacking support, right? You know, like, why would you choose a life that could make you completely alone in this world? Wrong, 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 wrong. Nobody chooses to be part of the LGBTQIA community. You were just born that way. No, I love who I love. I grew up knowing that love has no color or gender. So for me, my life is the way I was raised, very fluid. It is not a choice. Nobody would decide to have a, to live a life where they get discriminated against, where they're somewhat looked down on in society, where they have to, you know, change their change how they live and live in the world and how the world sees them nobody would choose that because it's a very not easy road for a lot of people um <laughs> that's the craziest question I, I have probably ever heard it's foolish um because you know you don't wake up one day and say hey i'm gonna be a part of the lgbtq community um or you know uh I want to be gay. Most heterosexual people don't go through that. You know, tell me a time when you said, you know what, I think um, I need to decide. Do I want to be with uh, the person of the same sex or the opposite sex? Right? That sounds crazy. That's how we feel. <laughs> I would be, I don't know, like I liked looking at men one time, um, never stopped. <laughs>
<laughs> um, I really enjoyed it uh, when I was a child. Didn't necessarily think it was, uh, a, there was a name to it until I turned maybe seven years old. So this was like me one night laying in bed. I was like, mm, men. <laughs> oh, this, this one always makes me emotional. Why did you feel compelled to come out? Mom, dad, I'm gay. <laughs> I was closeted in high school, even though I knew I was gay, I was in denial. I had had relationships with women in high school that um, confirmed for me, but I still didn't want it to be my truth. I also was terrified of how my family would react, even though they are the most accepting people on this planet and they, you know, love me regardless and, and you know, unconditionally, I was still terrified. I was terrified of, being one of those statistics where your family kicks you out or leaves you, you know, stranded, you know, no security net, no, you know, connection to what you grew up knowing. And I didn't want that to happen. And so I was very anxious in high school. I was very sad. I had very dark thoughts. Um, and I knew that after graduation, I just had to come out. And for me, coming out to myself was definitely the hardest part. Society tells you to repress your queer thoughts and to pass it all off as a phase, and for a really long time, that's what I did. Uh, but true story, it wasn't until I had spent the day antiquing in Vermont with a boy I had a huge crush on that I finally went home, looked at myself in the mirror, and said, Jacob, you're probably gay, and that's totally okay. Honestly, you just kind of get tired. Like, it was really taxing, like, having to keep this big secret for a long time, and then one day in eighth grade, I was just like, you know what? I don't really care. Like, it's not a big deal to me, so if it's a big deal to someone else, then whatever, I don't really care. Um, which is kind of crazy, because I look back at 14-year-old me, and I'm like, wow, I wish I had that, um, that moxie. What is coming out? Like, that's, that's a real question, like, Coming out of my mom, yeah, I came out February 7th, 1968, at 5.38 a.m. That is the only coming out I know of. Really? Really? There was just no hiding it. It is what it is. Uh, my wish for cisgender people, uh, <laughs> particularly straight guys, is that um, just because we're gay does not mean we're attracted to you, right? So we might be gay, we're not desperate. Stop killing trans people. Let people be who they are, let people decide who they want to be. Like, we need to stop putting our own agendas on other people. It's none of our business, to be frank. Um, I wish that we would be accepted for who we are. Um, because that's it. That's who we are. There is no if, ands, or buts about it. And I wish that people would just learn to let us live our lives. All we want to do is love who we love and be who we want to be. What's wrong with that? We allow you to be who you want to be, so why can't you allow us to be who we want to be? While Pride Month may be coming to an end, the work to protect and uplift the LGBTQ plus community continues. Discrimination still exists, and LGBTQ plus individuals face health disparities based solely on their sexual orientation and gender identity. For so long, the transgender queer and non-binary communities have been underrepresented, marginalized, ridiculed, and murdered. So what can you do? You can support and join us in uplifting LGBTQ plus individuals, particularly the LGBTQ plus people of color and especially trans and non-binary people. You can educate yourself on pronouns, terminology, and language. You can stand up for discrimination and call for policy change so that we are all equal. And finally, we at The Pink Couch believe the best way for change to happen is through stepping into the shoes of another. 
imagine having to come out to yourself, your family, and to the world that is riddled with bullying and homophobia. So we want you to Google coming out stars and then grab at least three other people and go through an immersive exercise of what it's like to come out. The feelings associated with identifying as LGBTQ+, how this impacts your relationships. You will not be the same. We at The Pink Couch are proud Proud of what you have accomplished in the face of hate. Proud to call you our friends, our family, and to call you simply by your name. Proud of you being unapologetically you. You celebrate pride as an acceptance of being proud of who you are. And now it's time for the world to accept you too. All right, are we done? Give me out this thing.